Good morning, everyone. We are waiting to get in the park. Ernie T, Strictly Disney. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Tiffany, good morning. Nathan, hi. Brave, good morning. All right, we are just waiting patiently. Cheryl, good morning. Jason, hello, hello. John, good morning. We're just waiting. It's 8 o'clock. We should get moving very soon. Shoshana, hello, good morning. It's a little crowded because so we are on the non-resort side. The park opened at 8 a.m. And so this is what rope drop looks like in Animal Kingdom. One moment, you guys. I can't believe they haven't let us in yet. Um, all right, here we go. Travel agent Liz, good morning. Lazy J, hello, good morning. Cindy, hello, hello. Brandon Fisher. Oh no. Good morning. Welcome to the chat, everyone. Aaron, hello. Debbie, good afternoon. It is a lovely 55 degrees Fahrenheit here in Animal Kingdom this morning. Swango, go, go, hello. Midwest theme park, obsessed. Good morning. Dave, good morning. Ghost toast. Hello, hello. Okay, we're in. We're in. Where do we go? Bex, good afternoon. All right, let's look at wait times. Do we go to Triceratops Spins first? I mean, you know, we're like no other but if any but if anything um it says flight of passage is only 15. i know it'll go up but we're gonna go with everybody else navi is 15 good morning uh navi is 25 and flight of passage is 15 supposedly You can see everybody running. <laughs> Jeff, we're having to choose to go to Pandora first. Yeah. Oh, they have the stuffed pancakes. <laughs> we're gonna make it a Triceratops spins, I promise you. Guava paste, but it's like a guava jelly. And it is so good. You know, of course, good morning. Um, I'm gotta get back to my good mornings. Leslie, hello. Welcome in. Wow. 
Where's everybody going? Oh, they're making us go this way. Okay. Uh, who that Dave? Good morning. Joe Nardo. Good morning. Shaquille. Hello, hello. Oh gosh, you guys, you are amazing this morning. It says Navi is 25. I don't believe it. What is let me see what flight of passage made it to. Everybody's like running. Okay, so it's not that bad. All right, it's right here. End of the line. All right. I won you over with the food. Okay, I can show you all a picture of it because I've had it. So it still says flight of passage is only 20. So we got in the line at 8.07. This is going to be amazing. Another first here on the Disney Parks with Love stream. Well, let me show you a picture of the pan of the stuffed pancake. If you're ever here, highly recommend that you get it. Jennifer, good morning. All right, I'm looking for my pancake, so not ignoring the chat. Just looking to show you the picture. Lightning lane straight down to the left. Lightning lane on the right this way, Fred. Set it up. All right, we're going to find it. I know I will. But in, in case we don't, this here's, here's a picture of some Mickey waffles and sausage. Doesn't that look good? Hmm, I think I must have missed it. Oh. All right, I'll get back to the chat. We'll, we'll find the stuffed pancake. But you can only get it here in Animal Kingdom. They have some other delicious um, breakfast offerings here. And Animal Kingdom did a really good job. Tasha, good morning. Cameron said thank you for the birthday wishes. Oh, she is so welcome. So, so welcome. I hope she, you, because it was your giving birthday. And no matter how she came into the world, that was the day that, you know, she came to you. So, um, I hope you had a wonderful day. And I hope Cameron had a wonderful day. I got to go back, you guys. The stuffed pancake is here in Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom only. Uh, hello, David T. Uh, so I hope she has a wonderful day as well. Animal Kingdom and Epcot, the top two places to eat food in Disney World. If you're going to eat food, especially Animal Kingdom, it is so overlooked. Such great food. Julie, good morning. Jen Sully. 
uh, safe travels into work, my friend. Oh, uh, David T., I'm so glad. I, and I'm more than happy to help if I am near something and able to look for you guys, uh, find merch or find a family member, I'm there for you. <laughs> All right, so we are in line for Avatar's Flight of Passage. And uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like, that thumbs up for the stream. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to growing the channel. And uh, oh, look, there's more of the pods from yesterday from the Epcot tree. No blooms here, no little cotton things, but definitely have the pods on the tree. So gorgeous and beautiful up here. Tony from CT, um, it was 55 whenever I came in, so not as cold as it is in Connecticut. But welcome into the chat, Tony. Thank you for being here. I would say this is my favorite ride in Animal Kingdom. Oh, you know what? Right now, Triceratops Spins is my favorite ride. And I can't believe they're taking it away from me. <laughs> uh, Seth, good morning. Welcome in. 14 days, David T. 14 days, it'll be here before you know it. Christina, good morning. It's early, I know it is. Um, but I appreciate you guys being here so early in the morning with me so that we can rope drop. Jen Sully. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? 25? New York. Stay warm. Stay warm. I love having all my rope dropping friends in the chat with me. Y'all have jobs where y'all can um, have me there. All right, sorry about that. And hopefully we are connected to the Wi-Fi. Grimbach, good morning. Mari, good morning. Cindy, I, I don't when I I don't do it often, but when I do, 
I rope drop triceratops fins. <laughs> oh, this is new for us here. So thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, the grace, uh, extending grace towards me for figuring out Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, and stuff like that. So appreciate you guys. Dad about Disney, one more day, one more day. That's awesome. Have an amazing time. Project Loop, good morning. Richard Scott, yes, good morning. Thank you for being part of the chat. Uh, so we are in the line for Avatar Flight of Passage here in Animal Kingdom. It'll be our first ride of the day. Uh, Leslie, um, hope your, hope your uh, kiddo gets better today. Uh, speedy recovery. Sandra, good morning. Dad about Disney, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, we hit 20K, 20,000 subscribers on uh, Tuesday. And uh, still, still just smiling for sure. Jen Shepard, good morning. How are you, Jim? Hope you are having a wonderful day and welcome into the chat. Bex, Animal Kingdom is, even if you're going to chalk it up to a half day park, I say Animal Kingdom is a must do. Kayla, happy Thursday. Debbie, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Today we're on our way to 20,200. So right now, <coughs> goodness, um, right now we are at 20,163. So we are not that far from that 200 mark. Sandy, thank you. Thanks for being part of the chat. <laughs> oh, Jim, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. I had my book in the car if you're a part of our character signing yesterday, but then I was like, I don't think that we'll be able to. There weren't um, any signatures really other than Pocahontas, and she's so like hard to get. Um, I might have to do that like on you know it's going to be a spur of the moment kind of thing if we if we get her so um i didn't bring the book in with me nathan we are going on avatar flight of passage this would be one of the most if not the most popular ride here in animal kingdom cruiser disney good morning Uh, Cruiser Disney, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Again, without the, without you guys and the help and support of um, all the other streamers out there, um, I wouldn't be where I am. So I uh, just cannot thank everybody and show my appreciation by showing up every day and, and bringing you all some quality content and streaming. Uh, that's what we're here to do, and uh, we're just going to keep growing. Brianna, hello. Oh, thank, thank 
Thank you, Brianna. I appreciate the kind words. And I hope you have a wonderful day at work. Kyle, good morning. Oh, they opened the window. That wasn't open when I came into the room. I do, um, I do try to take a couple of days off a week. So, I usually don't do Fridays and Sundays. But, there have been, it depends on if something's happening, um, then uh, we will obviously adjust the schedule. But I do try to take a couple days off, try to um, be with my family and or catch up on all the other stuff that I have to do behind the scenes. The 20K giveaway, we have three um, items for sale, uh, for sale for the giveaway. It is not for sale. It is free and you can, anybody can enter into it. There will be a uh, trading pin, a set of ears, cocoa ears, and a Starbucks black matte tumbler. Those, that will be our first giveaway and it will be live tonight or tomorrow morning at 12 a.m. and it'll go for one week and it'll be posted in the community section of the stream here or the community section of my YouTube page and channel. Attention visitors. We're about to fly. Jim, I thank you for the quick hello and have a wonderful day. In a moving chair and will experience sudden drops and acrobatic aerial maneuvers. Those with a fear of heights or prone to motion sickness should bypass this experience. Thank you. So we just need to make it to the end here and then we'll be in our first room. Uh, we'll go into two rooms and then we'll be on the ride. I'm sorry. So when your when your oldest son sends you a text that says I miss you, you have to respond back, right? So just taking a moment out to send him a good morning and um, and trying to tell him that I'm I'll plan I'll plan a trip to Maryland um, to go see him. So that's what I was doing. Thorin, good morning. Um, Sandra, definitely motion sickness is a thing on this ride. Good morning, Megan. Yes, Megan, Flight of Passage. Last time I was, I mean, even near this ride, I was with Megan and I was eating the stuffed pancake while she was riding the ride. So I did not get to come. Um,
Hello, Lori. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Uh, once we get closer and in the room, I'm not going to be chatting, but we are going on flight of passage and I do want to respect others that are around me. Sixteen? Okay, thank you. Okay, sealed genetic matching room. Hi, and welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, riding on the back of a Banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an Avatar. Using Avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying Banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the Avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this rite of passage today. Pandora is a breathtaking natural world. I cannot wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. So, let's get ready for our next... Huh? Hmm. I'll be right back. Put the standby system on, quickly. Standby. We are looking into delays with the genetic matching system. <laughs> Starting system-wide diagnostics. Help us out and move around a little. <laughs> Starting recalibration tests. Move around a little. <laughs> Rebooting GMR system. We will be ready soon. system.
can see my fingers. Rest. Okay, to get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> Help us out oh, and no. move around a bit. Almost. Yes, got it. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. No match. Oh, I got, I got my match. I'm not matched. All right, you've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. All right, Bex, we will talk about this whenever the ride is over. Well, I'll give you my opinion and what it's like being in here. But we are going into the next room. There are two rooms and then the ride. Thank you so much. Great, you've all made it. Uh, it's important that you can all see me, so move a little if you can't. Before experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and to link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. So face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Siva Ko, rise to the challenge. Good luck. All right, you ready? Let's get you into the link chamber. Attention drivers, stow your gear on the back wall and then supervise your children. Para su seguridad, durante toda esta experiencia deberán permanecer sentados, inclinarse hacia adelante agarrando las barras y supervisen a sus niños. Gracias. I don't think I can hold. 
I don't know. We're gonna do it without the glasses. So we're like. in with your legs and, your and uh, in the back this little piece comes up and it Pull supports you and everything and then so your seated. stomach you is against this and hand you hand hold on to that the bars but para su seguridad durante toda esta experiencia deberán permanecer sentados inclinarse hacia adelante agarrando las barras y supervisen a sus niños gracias so that's what the ride vehicle looks like. Um, it is all simulator. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you can see the people coming down from the different levels. We were like midway. We were level two. So there's a level, it's like soaring in a way that there's a, a top row, a middle row, and then a bottom row. So we were in the middle. So, okay, I want to get
get out of here to make sure that I'm not lagging and uh, I do need a reminder probably to unhook from the Wi-Fi. I, you know, I do wish I could have had the glasses on for you guys so it wasn't blurry because um, it is a, a 3D, but I don't think, so it is much more intense than Soren or, I, I don't know, just all the movement. Holding the gimbal was my main priority. <laughs> Sam, that will be amazing. Have an amazing time. All the times I've gone on it, I've never seen. So it's funny being taken out of this exit because usually you come through the store, and we're not going through the store today. That's so weird. Okay, Wi-Fi. All right. Well, we did it, you guys. I wonder what Navi is. We'll go give it a look. It is great. And you, in every time you ride it, it's the best time you ride it. Okay, so Bex, if you're still in here, we'll start from the beginning, which is the rooms. You know, I always say Disney is very accommodating. And if you don't want to be stuck in the room, I, I've had that fear before. Oh yeah, we're going through the, we're going through the store. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, completely understandable. And when you're in the line first, right before the room, just talk to that cast member and they will accommodate you. You don't have to go through the room and you can meet your party on the back side of that. Um, do you remember motion sickness, fear of heights, all of that? So if you don't even think you want to go on the ride, I do recommend that if you can and you can just bypass the rooms that at least give it a shot you say you did it and um you know it can be a one and done the ride is so fun so beautiful i have a feeling you'll love it it's my favorite ride um it's it's just my favorite ride and like all probably of disney world all right navi is only 25 thank you lori Good morning, Amanda. The room, and it's understandable. Like I said, very understandable, Bex. And uh, talk to a cast member, and they'll take care of it for you. Oh, the stuffed pancake. Um, it's right here. Let me show you a picture. And then the cinnamon roll here, too, at um, this little quick service is huge and gigantic. And if I see somebody with it, I will show you. All right, so this is the stuffed pancake. And that's what it looks like. So it's a pancake on the outside, egg, guava, and sausage. So good. And then the cinnamon roll is huge. They have one and they're sharing it. It's huge. And then they do have the frozen um, breakfasts. So this right here, the Pangu Lumbia, it's a pineapple cream cheese spring roll. So, so good. Um, this is what's open right now for breakfast. Uh, Five minutes for flight of practice. Ray, hello. You so say you did it once, and you know what? I'm so glad you did it and you have that experience. I'm sorry for the people who have motion sickness. It makes me so sad um, that you know there's so much you have to miss out on because of that. And I know the feeling. It's a horrible, horrible feeling, and 
you know, I'm sure it takes you a long time to recover when you choose to make a decision to push through it. Does the floor drop down? No. The floor, and you know what? Like, maybe, no. So the only thing that happens is the screen that, um, that piece in front of us opens. And then if you were to look to the right or the left, which I wish I would have shown you, you would have seen the other ride vehicles and all the other levels um, if you look around. But the only thing that opens is the front. The front. All right, standby is 30. We're going to go do this. So the floor doesn't drop. And then you can see I was moving on that. Um, and the seat has um, pulse, pulsing things in them to make it like you like, can feel the heart of the Banshee. It's pretty um, innovative in my opinion, I guess that's the word, to make you feel like you became the Banshee and you are the one flying. Rich B had the pancake last week. It's delicious, right, Rich B? Oh, it's so good. I've had it twice now. Once when it first came out, second time um, about a month ago, and it was still as good the second time. I think it was better the second time. Like, they've got the recipe down pat. You said, I've never been to the Boneyard, Gray. All right, so this is Navi, still part of Pandora. Um, it's a really easy, um, less intense boat ride. It's a, it's a very easy, it's like, it's a small world, um, but inside and it's darker, that's it, but. The ride is equivalent to it's a small world. It's just a very easy boat ride. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. Yep, we did fine. I think once I do it a few times, I'll be very comfortable with it and we'll you know, have no problems with it. Mustang Rob, have an amazing time. I'm so glad that you've added uh, Animal Kingdom to your docket and um, you're gonna love it. Good morning, Mike. If there's anybody in here that I didn't say good morning to, whether we were on a ride or um, I was walking and talking and all of the things uh, please don't hesitate to say good morning again say hello be part of the chat if you don't want to I completely understand and I am just appreciative that you are watching in the background um, and uh, just enjoying the stream and who uh, that Dave told us it took 22 minutes to, once we were in the line to get on the ride vehicle or in the room, 22 minutes to get into the room. So thank you. Thank you, Dave. Mike, so many. Hi, Mike Redman. I know I need to be more specific with my mic. But hello, welcome in, Mike Disney Travel. Hello, thank you for being here.
We're about three minutes away from uh, when the park opened. The park opened at 8 a.m. David Johnson, thank you so much for watching. Amy, good morning. Rob Collier, good morning. Thank you for watching from Gatlin, Tennessee. You're welcome for the stream, JB. Squirrel, JB, I don't know if I said good morning to you, but good morning. Crystal, good morning. Mustang Rob, I mean, I, I think I get where Dave is going with the, do you have time to go to Magic Kingdom? But at the end of the day, even exploring Epcot, there's so much to do. Um, hopefully you discover so much um, in your days there. And that's awesome that you're dedicating so much time to the parks and just wanting to get to know them. Daniel, good morning. Jacob Madrid, hello. Welcome in. Lord of the Strings, you're new here. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. Uh, welcome in, welcome to the chat. And uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. John Day at the Parks, hello. Good morning. Thank you for saying hi, John. Um, Miles from Main Street, good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. You had, to, you had to rewind to watch Avatar. It's such a great ride. Such a great ride. And I, I don't go on it that often that when I do go on it, it's absolutely amazing. Mustang Rob, I love that. <laughs> That's all you have to do is get them hooked and uh, you're in. You're in. Oh no, Crystal. You know what? We'll keep trying because chicken pot pie is amazing, and once you get it down pat, yeah. uh, it it you'll you'll get there. Don't don't um don't stop trying. Izzy, good morning. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that, Izzy. That's four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Julie B. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, JB, that would have been amazing if we could have said hi to your niece. Dapper Dave. Hello. Yeah, Dapper Dave. Yeah, you might want to. Again, it, it's all it, the majority of it's visual. Um, if you've been on, um, if you've been on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in the part where you go into the room and you feel like you're going down the waterfall, but you know your ride vehicle hasn't gone anywhere, and it's all about how the screen makes you feel like you're going down the ride down the waterfall. That's exactly how that is. Uh, just in ten times ten times ten.
Uh, Kimberly. Uh, what's the game plan? Um, you know what? To just hang out in Animal Kingdom. That's what we're doing today. We rode a uh, flight of passage. Now we're getting ready to ride Navi. I'd love to um, head over to the safari after this. And uh, just enjoy the sights and towns of Animal Kingdom. No real uh, game plan other than to just have fun. Uh, Clint, hello from Canada. Thank you for being here. Vananda, hello. Good morning. Lizar, thank you so much and good morning. Uh, Gizmondo, I am well. Hello. Um, how are you doing today? And I appreciate you asking. Oh, Debbie. Well, you're in for you're in for a treat. Now, V is one of those to me, and that again, I'm going to say my opinion. It, I understand if everybody has other opinions. Um, I say 30 minutes is the max that I would wait for this ride. It's again, I equivalent it to the motion of it's a small world. It's a very um, nice little boat ride, but it is not even as long as it's a small world. And it um, just is going to go through and you're going to see it's it's dark with a lot of Sawyer's mom. Steamed cheeseburger pods from uh, Satui. Uh, I get the kids version and I love it. It's just enough and they're so good. Betty. Go uh, thank you so much. Good morning to you. We are in line for the Navi uh, River Journey uh, here in Animal Kingdom. Thank you for being part of the chat, Betty. Alyssa, hello. Hello, hello. It is, so it is a nice relaxing ride. It's another one of those that, you know, if you're just looking for a break in the day, uh, getting off your feet, uh, staying out of the heat, and you just need a few minutes of some like downtime, this is one of those rides. Subscribers are jumping up, Gizmondo. It's amazing. I know Tanya said it the other day. She's like, Janelle, things are about to snowball. And I was like, what? But it's it's crazy. And again, thank you to everybody. Uh, you guys are amazing. And uh, I appreciate you so much. Amy and Chuck, one of your favorite rides. Just time to relax and take in the beauty. Agree. Agree. <coughs> now, Bex, we have some work to do. Bex hasn't done this one either. That's right, Lori. Um, how much is the animatronic? Million, right? Over a million dollars for the animatronic at the end of this ride. So if you didn't know that, or um, I'll, I'll try to point it out. Uh, but it's the big blue person at the end. Jackie Thompson, good morning. Thank you for being here. Okay, Mike, you're right. So, uh, one advantage of not being over a small world is no song, no song to get stuck in your head. And we are almost to uh, getting in the line. So, I don't know if it's down or if we're just, hopefully, it's not down because we're sitting here. But I'm, wa I'm watching the Disney cast members. So, um, this cast member, he was behind me on Flight of Passage, and he looks to be like a mechanic. I don't know if he's just making his rounds on the um, rides this morning, or if he's like checking stuff out. So, uh, 
uh, gray, yeah, so not worth the wait. I don't know how many people, some people, if you love Avatar, I could see that this would be, you know, something that you're like, oh, a must do. Oh, uh, Carolyn F., first time watching. You're watching from the UK. Well, that means happy good afternoon to you. Carolyn F., uh, I appreciate you being here in the streams while you're waiting. And um, all, all um, good vibes going your way for that, uh, that transplant. So... We'll be we'll be here um, thinking about you and hopefully hopefully everything goes well. Oh my gosh, Jeff, you're making me. I'm, you're gonna make me. I I already did kind of feel bad, and now now we're gonna go. Uh, I did. I said we're gonna go to a safari because Triceratops spins. That's our go-to. When it's busy, oh, we go seen. straight there, and it's always there for us. And look at me going on these other rides. <laughs> West Virginia in the house. Hello, Kelly. Uh, good morning to you. James, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Almost gonna go again. Almost gonna go again. All right, Izzy waited for a, over an hour. Yeah. It, it, if you wait a really long time, I'm going to say you're probably going to be yeah. disappointed. But if you can get there in 30 minutes or less, I say do it. Adrian, hello. Welcome in. Swango, I do not come in that way. So I am, I feel very fortunate that I do not come in on I-4. I'd want to poke my eyes out if I did. <laughs> um, off to WDW, hello, hello. Cindy, thanks for working from home and watching and do what you have to do. We appreciate your time that you do give us. Thank you. You guys, I'm missing so many comments. It's now a 50 minute wait for Navi. We are, once we get, we're in the tunnel, and so once we get around this, it will, we'll be in a ride vehicle. I don't have the energy to do all this theme parks. Um, I love it, and uh, <laughs> that's it, I don't know. I don't know any other explanation for it. Um, when you when you can wake up and bring this to everybody, like that's how I have the energy. You guys. Yeah, we're gonna get ready for it. Tink for life, hello. Goodness, my mods are doing an excellent job of saying hello to everybody. And again, um, appreciate you guys being here. Want to be able to reach out to each one of you and say thank you and good morning. And it's not my intention to not do that. 
one. One, uh, go with row two and let them know you're a party of three now. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna do any talking because I am gonna be with them and I don't wanna disrupt them. And so um, I'm gonna just be not talking, but enjoy the ride.
It's go Kai, hello. Good morning, thank you for being here. Love is all we need, hello. Thanks for being part of the chat. Debbie, that was funny. I'm watching, I always watch the chat. I'm either watching the chat, enjoying the ride a little, and then checking on wait times to see where we're gonna go next. Good morning, Earl. All right, well, we have taken, we did, we knocked out Pandora. I think I can say that. I think it's appropriate to say that I knocked out Pandora. <laughs> it is not appropriate if I say that about a character, but it is appropriate that I say I knocked out Pandora. Colors, every, like, again, it's so calming. And I think it's the music and the colors and then it's dark. It is a very nice ride. I just, if you've not ever done it, wouldn't want you to be so disappointed when you've waited so long for it. Ah, oh, Thorin, you're so welcome. I'm glad we could knock it out. We're going to go to Safari. It says it's a 30 minute standby wait time. So I think our wait times are still doing okay today. Gallery man, hello. Welcome. Thanks for watching from the, uh, Long Island. Lori, so welcome. Heather M, good morning. Uh, TLP, uh, it is on my agenda today. Last time we did Nemo, really would like to get in Festival of the Lion King today. So I know it doesn't start until I think the 10 o'clock hour. But we'll get it, we'll get it in. Uh, anything goes TV. Hello, thank you for watching from the Philippines and John Day at the park. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm all relaxed. I, it, without the uh, background, I. Uh, I wonder, so I wonder, oh, which one is temporarily closed? Navi or Flight of Passage? Let's see. Oh, Pandora's closed. Navi is 65. Look at us go. 
Yeah, I kind of feel like I went to the spa, but without the back rub. Here is another picture of that stuffed pancake. Doris, hello. I love It's Tough to be a Bug. I know so many people dislike it and uh, I understand, but I think it's so cute. Thank you, Doris, for liking and sharing the stream. Be like Doris <laughs> and uh, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the stream. Thank you everybody for being here. Happy Thursday. Another beautiful tree that's blooming. I'm going to show you guys because I'm into showing you the beautiful blooming trees here. But look how pretty it is. It almost looks like uh, pea pods, but then with a beautiful flower. Joseph Dixon, hello. Joseph Dion, hello. Sorry, th sorry about that. For directions. All right, we're making our way. We're making our way to the safari. I've always been one where I'm going to reach out first. <laughs> you definitely need the pancake. It's so good. Again, I would like it if they put a little more guava in there, but I'm sure some people would be like, "Oh, we don't, we don't want it to be too sweet." And so I get what they're going for. But the guava with the sausage, mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the bug spray, uh, yes. And again, I get it. Like my daughter is terrified of spiders. I'm terrified of snakes, you know, but I can handle a spider. The little monkeys, the babies are still so, so cute. I feel like they had more babies, but I don't know. Unless there's like two pairs in there. But when I was here a month ago, they had babies, more babies. The popcorn, 12. Wow, two years at Creature Comforts. Um, you know what? Thank you for working there and making magic for us. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful time. Ten days, brave. Everybody's countdowns are getting so close. You're half packed. Okay. I, when I got up this morning, I was like, oh, anybody who's coming, like, definitely sweatshirt in the morning it, for me. A sweatshirt in the morning or a sweatshirt at night. But in the middle of the day, it's been gorgeous. Who knows what it can be like in 12 days or even seven days. Nick. Chippendale dressed like dinos are in Dino Land, and we will be heading over there today. Uh, right now, we're heading to the safari, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go over here. Um, another breakfast area that is really really good is right here. This little breakfast spot. I'm gonna I'll see if we can. This is the end of the safari, so I'll show you the food before we get in the line. But the breakfast tachos, uh, potato barrels, scrambled eggs, nacho cheese. Thank you, thank you. And cheese curl, curds and bacon. <laughs> thank you. The tachos are where it's at too. 
Oh, it says it's an hour. Hmm. What do we do? Let me check and see when uh, Festival of the Lion King is today. I think we might be skipping Kilimanjaro safaris today. Entertainment. So Festival of the Lion King starts at 10. I mean, we can go back and do that. Let's do the 10 o'clock Festival of the Lion King. And then we'll head over to, uh, we'll head over to Dino Land and uh, over on that side. Uh, Dapper Dave, that would be amazing. Hope to see all of you guys. Uh, is Ca is Cali River Rapids over open? If it's not too bad, all right. We we'll head over to Festival of the Lion King. We'll do the ten o'clock show. We'll walk through the gift shop real quick, and then we'll head that way. Wayne, good morning. And then we will be, we'll head over to the Dino Land and Asia area. Thank you so much for everybody being here in the stream today. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to Animal Kingdom. I'll show you the treat since we're into, I'm into punishing you. I guess you guys are making you hungry. Hopefully it's not a punishment to show you all the treats, but in the morning, it's easy to come and see all the yummy treats that they have. So the vanilla bee cupcake, the Easter, oh, gourmet. So this one's made, they're made with Werther's caramel. Gary, I love that. Um, the gourmet churro. Hello, we're just looking. Thank you. Look how cute the bunny, the bunny rice crispy treat. I've had the uh, churro cookie, and it is very, very good. Up is my favorite. I'll say that's my overall favorite. A movie Carl and Russell and Doug and Kevin all my favorites all right we won't be the only one trying to go to the 10 o'clock festival of the Lion King. So we're gonna head over there. Jackie, good morning. Expedition Everest, 10 minute wait. Okay. We'll head over that area that way um, after Festival of the Lion King. Channel member Debbie, thank you Debbie for becoming a channel member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Bex, yeah. Um, you know how to, in Instagram, DM me and let me know your, your dates and, uh, we'll see what we can work out. You know, now that I have that, uh, universal pass and speaking of universal, 
uh, we will have the Battle of the Beads Monday. Monday with Ron at Universal in the afternoon. Uh, we'll be going for another bead grabbing stream. Thank you, Unicorns, for being here. All right, so this is a show that we're going into. It's the Festival of the Lion King. I'd say it is the most popular show here in um, Um, it is the most popular show here in Animal Kingdom. Good morning. Good morning. We're going this way? Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Appreciate you being here and uh, becoming a channel member. <laughs> All right, we are headed in. Uh, thank you, love is all we need. Team Team Janelle, that's right. Oh my gosh, if I could have a shirt. I need a bead shirt. I, I'm gonna go on Amazon and see if I can find some sort of a like, I, I have all the beads or something kind of shirt. Perfect timing on coming over here. Katrina, thank you so much. All right, hopefully I can, I don't know. I'd like to be on the end. I just don't want to bother anybody. Um, We'll see what we we'll see what we get. Somehow it always works out for us. Hi friends, you guys are staying in this line. You're gonna go up the stairs to the right. I just can I ask to be on the end? Yeah, if you want okay. to go down this road to the end. Okay. I'm ready. Perfect. I just don't want to be in anybody's way. <laughs> All right. So I'll have minimal talking. I don't want to bother anybody. But I think we have a great seat. Love is all we need, yes. Girl power, girl power. Um, Anderson, that's amazing. I love when uh, they uh, have everybody do the war the warthog sounds. Izzy, you're so welcome. Um, we have a little time to wait. 
so appreciate you guys uh, being patient if you want to go grab popcorn a drink or <laughs> hit the restroom this is your time to do it but definitely grab some popcorn My girl math. Um, yes, I'll always have more beads. <laughs> McFarland, that is amazing. Uh, planning is one of the fun parts about coming to Disney. So hopefully you're enjoying the process and um, have fun when you make it here. That is so exciting. It does look like Disney on ice with the blue. Absolutely brave. Ross, hello, hello, good morning. Thank you guys for all the likes, for all the new subscribers, for channel members, um, all the new channel members we've had this week. It's been amazing. And uh, again, just thank you for the support while we're sitting here and waiting. Love is all we need, I agree. Um, they do a wonderful job with this show um, and uh, you leave here just like pumped up like like you can conquer all too and that's what the movie is about and you leave this show feeling like that for sure Adrian hello I, I do I agree, Joe. I think the show is a must-do for a lot of people. I like to, you know, as far as the stream goes, last week we saw Nemo. I happen to love Nemo. It did have to grow on me, um, but this show will always be number one here at um, Animal Kingdom. Two years of streaming um, tomorrow. Uh, I started my first live stream March 22nd, 2022 um, on TikTok. Sandy Byers, good morning. Thank you for coming in and saying hello. Strictly Disney, good morning. Oh, um, you are so welcome. Love an Animal Kingdom day. Sandra, I was in line for the safari and I got out of it. And uh, we decided to come to Lion King instead of wait in the hour long safari line. Ooh, Wayne, good point. Uh, the tumble monkeys are one of the highlights of the show for sure. The one that gets me is uh, the bird and uh, just the whole song. And I can't think of it at the moment, but it will be stuck with me by the end of it. Um, but just that whole, again, soft, calming um, 
performance. It, it's, it's all amazing. Stephen, hello and good morning. I didn't bring my book in today. Uh, we'll resume. We'll resume that. Um, we're gonna day day off. Actually, I'm gonna be on TikTok for tomorrow for the anniversary. Um, so we'll be streaming over there tomorrow, and then um, Saturday we'll be here on YouTube. Uh, Saturday morning we'll be in Magic Kingdom, and then. Uh, We'll see. I might take the book into Magic Kingdom on Saturday uh, just to see if it's long wait times, then maybe we'll do characters. Were you looking for Debbie Baxter? Or Debbie After 20. Stephen, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Because if I will vlog, oh, she will be so happy. She always asks. Okay. Um. So, a magic moment that I've had streaming. So, um. One that just comes, the one that comes to the top of my mind, and yes, I have had so many, and which is why cast members um, are like just at the top of my, you know, heart, my family, and then cast members. Um, but, um, but one day I was streaming, and I was. I was walking out of the park and I was back in Fantasyland and, and I'm gonna talk this out to you I was coming around um, around the castle and going over the bridge from Liberty Square to the hub and a cast member stopped me and her name was Michelle and she said are you Chanel and uh, are you Disney Parks with Love and I was like yes and she's like I watch you all the time and I've always wanted to meet you and I was blown away and I was like like really like really and so she said um, are you gonna watch the parade I always watch the parade but on this day I was like you know what guys we're not gonna watch the parade I'm gonna head out I'm gonna go do X Y and Z with my family and uh, she, I was like oh Michelle I wasn't planning on watching the parade today and she was like oh man I had a special spot for you and I was like I cannot pass her down you know pass up she's offering you know she was looking for me all the all the things all the things I am I, I I'm gonna you know say yes to the parade and so she um, said I said okay we'll watch the parade um, you know thank you for stopping me and she sat me in on the bench that was um there for like vips like the people that they they um, randomly select people every single day to sit in these benches right there by the bridge going into liberty square and i got to sit there and it was the best festival fantasy parade ever and we had all the character interactions and it was one of the best magical moments that i have ever had um, as far as just streaming and a cast member seeing me and um, making the day special for me and the stream. I mean, the stream was amazing. So that's the number one that comes to the top of my head. And, um, you know, all the little treats here and there, that's like blows me away. And um, uh, cast members are so kind and I, it, it can happen to anybody and that's what I will tell you guys is that it's not just me it's not because I have a camera um, I think that if you're just out there doing uh, kind being kind to cast members uh, smiling and all of that it comes right back to you
Amanda, thank you so much. I hope you have a fabulous day as well. And um, just so you know, what, I, I will continue on with that story. So um, I would carry around a little envelope in my um, bag because a cast member can't take a tip, but they can accept an envelope. Always know that. And I would always carry like $5, $10, um, up to $20 in that envelope so that if a cast member um, just... I felt like they needed a little pick-me-up in their day, I would give them the envelope. On this day, that cast member, Michelle, um, I gave her an envelope. And a lot of people don't know this, you know, um, part of the story because you didn't see it or anything, but um, I gave her the envelope and I went on my way and I just said, thank you. And she had no idea. She put the envelope in her pocket and went on her way. But my point to the story is you never know what somebody's going through and you should always extend grace and um, you just never know what somebody is going through. And she found me like a month later and she came up to me and she said, thank you so much for that day and thank you for the envelope. Um, at that time she was going through a very rough patch. She had no money and when I gave her the envelope, she's like that allowed me to get gas for that day and her situation has greatly improved and we are really good friends now and anytime I am in the park she gets a hug and uh, I'm so thankful for Michelle so that was the rest of the story um, that goes with how she made my day but then I had no idea that I had made her day and made her day a little bit better and that's my story with Michelle and cast members I'm over here now I have tears I it was such a special day all right <laughs> so welcome in everybody we have six minutes until the festival of the Lion King Oh, I love everybody. You know, I appreciate you guys for asking because it, it makes me recall um, so many magical moments that I go through and have had. And um, yeah. Joe, you are so right. I am so glad that you were pixie dusted and you're right. That is the proper term. Um, I was pixie dusted and I threw it. I totally believe in throwing it right back at the cast members. And I feel like that day was my biggest lesson in learning. You never know what somebody's going through. And it doesn't matter if they have a smile on their face or not. You just, you have no idea. And I'll never forget that lesson that day.
Niles from Main Street, you're so welcome. Frost, you're, I agree that cast members do not get the recognition that they deserve, um, especially, you know, at the, you know, custodial or, you know, behind the counter or, um, you know, the chefs that are busy making the food. Like, all of those people, it takes so many to run this place and um, they need a grace extended to them all of the time. They deserve grace extended, and um, they're they're human. They're human as well. I am um, people I see, especially like on Facebook, and not just. I'm not trying to cause controversy, but I am when people say, "Oh, the magic is gone." In all honesty, the magic isn't gone. Um, the magic is there. You just have to want to be there to see it and accept it and just sit back, relax, and man, the magic is there. Two minutes, you guys. I think we're about to have a um, we're about to have a an, an announcement. We should. Oh, her Emma and her son feeling. So Emma is cast member in Westward Ho, and we have been sharing her um, information. And let me tell you. I sent her a text yesterday to check on her and she said lol I was sending out texts and you were the next one on the list so we're, for some reason Emma and, I, Emma and I are always thinking about each other at the same time and so she said he is in a private room now and he is slowly getting back to himself um, I came home last night and I soaked in my tub and I got right into bed and I'm supposed to go to work today but she wasn't sure if she was gonna go to work because her, uh, you know, she's trying to make sure that her son is taken care for in the hospital. So that's Emma's status. Hopefully we will see her um, on Monday in Magic Kingdom and we'll definitely be there checking on her. Welcome to the Harambe Theater for the Festival of the Lion King. Please be aware that flash photography and videotaping are allowed during the show. However, for the safety of our performers, we ask that you turn off all external lighting on your video camera, cell phone, or other electronic device. Once the show begins, this entire theater will be filled with our performers. If you need to leave for any reason for the end of the show, please see one of our cast members for assistance. Our show will begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. All right, it is officially 10 o'clock. Thank you everybody for being here and being patient while we waited for the Festival of the Lion King and uh, it will be starting any second now. I hope you enjoy the show and after the show we'll be headed out and heading to uh, the other section of the park. The Festival of the Lion King. <laughs> Welcome. We have been expecting you. We are here today to welcome you, one and all, to the Festival of the Lion King. Welcome to my world. In this land, we welcome you. Of 
singers who travel with Simba and his friends throughout the land with this celebration. Time for introductions. My name is Kiyume and I am the leader of our group. Kiyume is Swahili for masculine and strong. What do you think? <laughs> Next we have Nakawa. Which is Swahili for good looking. And this is Kibibi. Which means impatient. It means princess. And finally, we have Zawadi. Which is Swahili for the gift. <laughs> the gift. I said the gift, and if you want to stay good looking, you best back off that attitude, mister. <laughs> Besides, you think I'm the gift, don't you? What's your name? Craig, well, I think that's why he for my new best friend. <laughs> Everyone, Simba and the gang will be arriving any minute now. We want them to feel welcome when they get here. So we're going to need your help. And since this is the animal kingdom and we're surrounded by animals, and Simba and the gang are animals, we should greet them like animals. So for our beastly pep rally, each of us will help lead one of the four animal sections. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll take the elephant. I'll take giraffe. I'll take the lion. And I'll take the woodhogs. And Greg, my friend, you're going to help take this woodhog section, yes? All righty, come up and do this way. Everyone, give Greg a hand as he joins me. All righty, Craig here will demonstrate the sound Oh, warthogs will make. All righty, Craig. Put your fingers up by your face to be your tusks and snorts like a warthog. Woo! That's pretty good! Now, honey, you need a tissue or you're good? Good. <laughs> you're good, all right. Stay with me. Let's turn around and help our friends out. Warthogs, tusks up. On the count of three, let's see what you can do. One, two, three! Now that is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. I love it. Here we go, lions. Now it is our turn. I have my friend Jack coming all the way from Tennessee, and he's going to show us his best lion impression now. Let's see those paws up, Jack. And let's hear that roar. Roar! Yes! Ferocious now. Stay with me, Jack. You all get the idea of paws in the air. And on the count of three, I want to hear your roar. One, two, three. Now that's a lion! Time for the elephant. This is Tom from South Carolina, and he's our leader. Okay, Tom, get that arm up. Let's see the trunk. And now let's hear the call. Roar! Tom, that is an elephant we will never forget. Very well, everyone. Arms up. And on the count of three, let's trump it triumphant. One, two, three. Roar! Mighty Packeter. Okay, okay, my turn. I'm Max. Everyone, this is the Mariani family from Canada, and they're gonna show us what a giraffe sounds like. Okay, giraffe, go. You don't know what a giraffe sounds like? That's okay because I didn't either. So I looked it up, and it said a low bleeding sound, kind of like a sheep. Okay, giraffe. <laughs> we'll take it! All right, giraffes, put it in here and bleed it. And there you are, giraffes. Very well then. Now that you know your animal sounds, I think we're all set. Watch us and we'll make sure you're cued and ready to go. Hey everyone, I think I hear them coming. Wonderful, right on time. On the count of three, let's use those sounds to call them in. All together now. One, One two, two, three! three. The world in perfect harmony with all its living things. That, my friends, is a time for joyous celebration. And now, everybody, it's 
time to kick off our celebration finale. Sounds great, Simba. Well, let's have a party. Come on, everybody. Come on, sing along. And my elephants didn't seem to have a problem. I think we're being challenged, so I'll tell you what. Our lions and warthogs against your giraffes and elephants. Your ascensions do the wing waves, and we'll do the hard part. Is that hard would be? Khabibi, observe. <laughs> And our giraffes and elephants will sing the Wee Mo We'll sing the melody. Yes, it's time out of the way. Professional artists coming through. Wee Mo Wee Mo Wee Mo Wee Excuse me, my human friends. I guess that leaves me to sing the melody. So, if you finish with all the talking, can we start already? <laughs> all right, all right, Bone. Let's take it from the top. Thank you, Bone. spectacular I'm glad that we uh, went and saw it and it was the very first one of the day so I thought that they brought it like they they killed it
Hello, I saw Kirk was in the live. Uh, I don't know, Kirk's still in here. If you came into the stream during that show and didn't have a chance to say hello, uh, please do so. I'd love to say hello to you and uh, thanks for being here, everyone. I think I'm gonna walk through uh, the Tree of Life. Now we're gonna go on the path and um, we're gonna head over to the dinosaur area. Um, yesterday on the stream we did characters and I do want to show you where the characters are where you can find the majority of them here in Animal Kingdom. So this will take right down this market way and you're gonna end up out the mountain. facts so the munchies i ate them like i i took them home and uh they were sitting on the table and my husband doesn't like like shortbread stuff i love shortbread and uh he was like what are these and i was like you know i didn't offer them to you because i don't think that you'll like them he's more of a chocolate peanut butter and this is more chocolate caramel and like a little shortbread crunch in there and he had one and he like snarled at it and I said see I told you you wouldn't like the munchies and then I just sat there and ate them all so Bex you have a lot going on so don't fuss about sending me something you take care of everything that you need to take care of and you know even if it's in September It'll be uh, a wonderful thing to uh, to get. Good morning, Lala, Christy. Good morning, uh, Jane. Uh, good afternoon from Birkenhead, England. Ty, yes, it is a gorgeous day here. Thank you, everybody. Oh my God, I love that y'all um, find each other from down the road from each other. Thank you, Bex. The, the catfish is in here. Right, we're gonna walk around the tree of life and we're gonna head over to the dinosaur area we're gonna go ride triceratop spins and i will show you where the characters are chris peanut butter tasty cake mm, that sounds good You know, Mike, um, earlier, um, Mike Disney Travel, because I know we have other mics in here. Um, you asked for the Emma update, but can we have an update on you? Because I feel like everybody knew that you were going something. And uh, so how are you doing? If you're asking me for the Birkenhead, uh, I'll, I guess I'll always pick red. We'll go see if Doug or Russell are, is out too. The new meet and greets. It's a soccer question. Oh, I still always stick red. 
<laughs> oh, um, it's still, I'm still big red. Very cool tree, gem. Over 300 uh, carvings in it. It's, it's an amazing tree. I could sit here all day in this area. And every time I see a new and different carving in the tree. Uh, so many angles and so many uh, places that they have put in the carvings. And it, it, again, it's just amazing. See, I feel like I've not ever noticed. Is that a walrus with like a baby right there? Or a seal. I think it's a walrus. Alright, so then I guess I'm Team Liverpool. <laughs> Alright, one step at a time. Some baby steps, some sideways steps. No back stepping though, no back stepping. There you go, Mike. That That is literally the one step at a time. Um, you got this. And uh, thanks for uh, t letting us know how you're doing. And um, I know being vulnerable and putting all your information out there is hard. So thank you for doing it. Oh, maybe Ross, maybe it was a manatee. Manatee and the baby. Um, I don't know, it, right off the bat, it did look like a walrus. But I, I'm gonna show you, it's, what are these? The, the meerkats? I feel like uh, they're, they're bathing each other. Wayne, you started to give, you started to give, um, take pictures. I agree. I mean, even, let me show you, let's see. Oh, it's a lemur, lemur, not a meerkat. No, Corey, we have not met Pocahontas. I have not seen her out today. And then we have some Disney ducks. And then Doug is out. And we're making our way over to Dino Land. That was Jim. Yep, it's Doug. Um, he he and uh, Doug and Russell switch out. So if Doug's out, that means Russell will be next. We met Doug last week when we were here. Lemurs? Was it lemurs? I'm, I'm making up all kinds of, uh, I'm making up all kinds of animals of what they are. We'll go see if we can see Kevin too. But over here is where the majority of the meet and greets will be here in Animal Kingdom. Um, right over here in that building, Mickey and Minnie, that's the uh, Mickey and Minnie meet and greet in their safari outfits and then over here at dino land usa is where the rest of them are they're lemurs okay thank you <laughs> i went from meerkat i don't even know what i said in between to um you know just they're an animal here in animal kingdom All right, so right here before the Dino Land uh, USA sign, Moana. We did meet Moana yesterday in Epcot, but Moana um, also takes a break from Epcot and she comes over here 
to uh, Animal Kingdom, and it is right here. 8.15 to 3.30. As I mentioned yesterday, if there's a character that you want to meet, be mindful of that um, ending time. You don't want to plan to park hop over here and get here at 4 at four o'clock and uh, Moana already be done. No, Kelly, I haven't seen Doug and Russell out at the same time. They've um, been separate. Oh my God, Mike. <laughs> All right, we're heading over uh, Triceratop Spins, five minute wait. We got this. They changed the Kevin meeting area too. Now usually Kevin meets and greets and comes out over here. Uh, so she, she, I've been seeing Kevin over here. Thank you everybody for being here and uh, hanging out with us in Animal Kingdom this morning. We've, we've had a great morning and uh, I know that there are so many places that you can be in. You've chosen to be here and uh, thank you. Thank you for that. So the Boneyard, that's, this is where I said I had never been. Um, I've never been up in the Boneyard. So um, it's open from nine to seven. And I, I would think that it's like, just from the outside looking in, um, I would think it's like the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse where you just go and walk around. But evidently you go and you look for fossils. Lala, thank you for telling me that and sharing with us. I appreciate that. I will look into that because that would be lots of fun. You know, I love going to Rafiki's Planet Watch. There is, so Everest, we didn't go over to Asia. Uh, so here at Dino Land, we have Triceratop Spins and dino or dinosaur we might go on it we'll see last time i went on it with megan i said i wasn't gonna go on it again but the, i did some stretching today back's feeling good so <laughs> but really it's it's a rough ride and it can be scary uh for littles and just keep that in mind it is a dark dinosaur ride oh my gosh jesse so and bex if you were thinking that primeval world was right here and they took it out all right 30th anniversary of the uh festival of lion king that's amazing I wonder what's going to happen to the big dinosaur uh, when this land becomes extinct. I would love it. I'd love it for my yard. Thank you. We're number nine. Okay. Thank you. These are all the songs that uh, <laughs> wreck the, the stream, but I love them. Thunder, lightning, thunder. Oh my gosh, Ross, that is amazing. Congratulations.
Congratulations! Ivan, hello. Prime, is Triceratops Spence the best place to party or Dino Land just in general? We're gonna ride this and then I will walk you through and I will show you where the characters are. And we'll make our way over to Dinosaur. Welcome back, Spinners. Make sure to get a little personal for the audience and follow our science tour. One and only. Ah, Tara, thank you for being here. Uh, welcome in. Thank you for saying hello. Uh, we welcome all newbies. So, thank you, thank you for being here. Stay seated with that seatbelt fastened good and tight. I am buckled. Whilst you're spinning. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside, and be sure to watch your children. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado con el cinturón de seguridad ajustado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del dinosaurio. Cuide a los pequeñitos. Gracias. Riders in the front row can use their lever to fly higher or lower. Riders in the back row can use their lever to tilt forward or backward. Ready? Then let's go for a spin! Many things have been announced for the parks. Oh, here we go! We're going up. Tilter. Hold on, let me, I'm gonna put my hand, I'm gonna, oh, there we go. I'm tilting us. I just put my hand. <laughs> Woo, we're tilting now. Oh man. Please stay seated until your Triceratops comes to a complete stop. Then, make sure you have all your belongings. They can't fly, but they can the spin, that's game. right, Sam. And I don't know if you saw us, but we were we were flying in a triceratops. Okay, so you gather all of your personal belongings to watch your step and follow our signs to our one way exit. We will be at T-Rex on Monday here at Disney Animal Kingdom. Howdy, welcome to all of our new spinners. Just a few safety reminders. If you're traveling with any smaller riders, make sure they sit to the left of the dinosaur, away from the open door, or are seated in the front with the supervising adult to be behind them. Spring Once Hopper, in flight, hello. Remain seated and keep those seatbelts fastened. I love the music. I think that that's one of my re favorite um, reasons for going on the ride. The great music. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Um, right here is Donald's Dino Bash. And Donald is up in there. Tracy, hello. I'm kind of hungry too. Uh, Kelly, thank you so much. I appreciate that. But there's Donald, and so this is Donald's meet and greet. Trying to make tonight for our travel talk on TikTok, which is at 7:30. If you're interested in joining, somebody did ask what popcorn buckets were in the park. So I'm trying to take note. Pumba is still here. So 
the dinosaur treasures um, souvenir shop. But if you go right here, there are all these trails back here. And you can follow the trails, but these trails are also gonna take you to the meet and greets. Carolyn F, you are so welcome. Thank you for being here in the chat. Amy, you're, you'll be here in October. Hoping to be able to ride Dinosaur one more time. I hope you get to too, um, October. You want flying Triceratops? I don't, you know, I don't know that they've announced any hard dates. So right here we have Daisy and she is dressed up in her dinosaur garb. I love her glasses. Bex, I hope you're asleep too. As much as I love you, part of the, uh, the travel talk nights, you should also be asleep. And then around this corner, we'll go from the other side, is Chippendale, and they're really cute. They're dressed like dinosaurs. But you come right through here, and then we're just, I know this is the exit. All right, thank you. And so there they are, but you can meet Chip and Dale here as well. So these are the meet and greets here in uh, Animal Kingdom. Thank you. So Chip and Dale are dressed as dinosaurs. And the, everybody in this area pretty much has some sort of dinosaur um, outfit costume on. So, dinosaur, the dinosaur ride is right here. I'm assuming it's still five minutes. They look like they're in their PJs. So, one thing that I read, talking about the popcorn buckets, like Disneyland got the Easter um, popcorn bucket, but we never did. I never saw it come to the park. If if we had it, it sold out so fast that I never saw it. Uh, dinosaurs, 10 minutes. We'll, we'll go give it a ride since it won't be here for long. Maybe this will be my last ride. <laughs> Terry P, hello. Chip and Dale in their onesies. <laughs> Bex. I don't, I, again, I don't mind. The, I, I think it's just really, really rough. So I hope when they're redoing the ride and switching it over that can we make it a, a little smoother dinosaur is le leaving sandra it is nope the ride will be leaving Stitch, hello, hello, hello. When is the farewell? Oh, we need we need some people in here that know. Let, let me see what the official, what they've said. 
That means y'all have to make trips here. All right, thank you, unicorns. Do it, I don't think there's an official time. It might be this summer. It's going to turn this ride, um, if I understand right, will be Indiana Jones. director of the Dynamo Institute, and I hope you enjoy those quaint exhibits in the old wings. <laughs> that more dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Tide Rover, an amazing figure that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's the but Isabel, welcome in, and I'm sorry that you have Disney blues, but thank you for being part of the stream. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tool that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. So Ross, I think that they're supposed. To, I think that's what it's supposed to be like. It's like there. Disneyland. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Secret, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the time rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you, and not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he has the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission, so don't tell anyone, okay? Hello, Millie. if they will keep the ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise tubes. So again, I think that they're supposed to kind of make this kind of like Disneyland and it, um, Indiana Jones was um, down for refurbishment when I was in Disneyland, so I did not get to ride it, so I don't know what it's like. Um, but th I think that they're supposed to be making it very similar.
travelers. Place all loose items in the pouch in front of you, fasten your seatbelt, and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the time rover. And please watch children. Atención, guarden todos los artículos sueltos, abróchense los cinturones y permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Vigilen a sus niños. Travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. All Uranus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. I got it. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Thank you. 
Wait, I don't want. Hello, Tracy. Okay. Woo. How well does that come across? Like, how well is it dark? Does it lag? Because I don't even know what y'all could see. All right. We just rode dinosaur. Hopefully it came across and hopefully it's okay. Fabrice, bonjour. Haley, hello. Hello, 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 everybody. How did it go? <laughs> Had to adjust. It didn't lag, but it was dark. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. I appreciate that. The beginning had slight lag, but overall was just a little dark. So you can hear it, but that's it. Okay, good to know because I just was wondering what it was like on your end. from Main Street. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Amy, thank you. I appreciate you guys letting me know. Um, glad that you could see what it was like. I wonder, again, are we going to get to keep our dinosaur? Um, and what little nods will they keep in, um, in the new land to dinosaurs? Short ride, okay. Yep, Rob, that was it in a gist, and now, now I need to go to the chiropractor. That's the part that y'all don't see. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go into the boneyard. I've not ever been in there. Let's go to the boneyard. I have not ever been in there, and if I have, I do not remember it. I mean, it is a possibility, there's Donald, a possibility that I took my children there a long, 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 long time ago, but for the most part, um, I have not ever been in there. It's James, thank you. you. It, it was, I was right on the brink of not making out of it, making out, making it out. <laughs> I can't even get my words right after that. It was so scary. But we made it. Uh, we got out of there right before the asteroid hit us. 
or was about to hit us. All right, so this is where we're going, the Boneyard Fossil Fun Site. I don't know what you do here, but the Dino Institute welcomes you. You're about to enter an active dinosaur dig site. The Dino Institute has opened the site for your enjoyment and to inspire children of all ages to learn more about the mysterious worlds of dinosaurs. I know that there are some hidden Mickeys in here. That's what I do know. Oh, y'all, so you really could see the, um, you could see the, uh, what you call it, the dinosaurs. That's good. All right, so it looks like it's a playground. And it's just a gigantic playground. This is so much fun. Julia, thank you. I had no idea. And probably why I have not ever come in here. So we're going to do our best to not invade anybody's privacy with their children back in here. But again, pretty fun. Dinosaurs all around and this is a lot of fun and I'm glad that I came in here and I'm glad that I found out about it. Rob, we'll see what they can do. The magic of Disney is what we're about to watch happen, right? I want to try to go up, but I don't. I want to try to go up without um, going on a slide. Let's see if we can go up here. Exit on <laughs> is on the ground level. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to make it up there. We'll see. You dig for bones, Amy. Okay. James Fender, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I was so busy into... Um, thank you so much for the $5 super chat, James. I was so into being in the boneyard. Jacob, they are turning it into um, Encanto and um, Indiana Jones. So it's a really big area. Big slides, fun, fun slides, and um, I would say like uh, look, bridges that are wobbly. I've never been up here. So this is the dig site. Oh, how cute. Because it says, keep your shoes on. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, the flotillas are going by. Let's see, I need to go out. Let's go see if we can see characters go by. Excuse me. You can climb up on them, but we don't want them. All right, so you cannot exit here. And so we have to go back across. And you know, the one thing I notice about this entire area is the shade and all kids are busy and they do have buckets and shovels and i feel like you can just bring your child over here and hang out and they'd be completely fine and happy
James and I get a free trip to Animal Kingdom. If you've never been, it's really close to being there. You're so welcome. I, I love that for you and everybody on the stream. All right, we're gonna go down. Julia, I love that. I, kids museums are the best. And you're right, this does remind me of being at a kids museum and uh, just letting them have fun. Chris, your son could stay and spend digging for hours. Tasha. <laughs> Tasha, the side, the only exit is down the side. I almost went into it. And then I was like, oh gosh. I guess it would have been fun if I did get stuck in the slide. Pretty hilarious. I want to go what, and see what these... I want to go see what's over here. Okay. Oh, it's the stairways to the slides. Well, I'm not going to go up there because, you know, uh, Tasha would want me to go down them. Um, all right. The restaurant, so one of my favorite things um, to do um, is to go get a ice cream cookie. Um, it's fabulous, Crystal. The restaurant is good too. It's your, it's your typical quick order, but I'm gonna show you. Thank you. I'm gonna show you my favorite dessert to get over here. Hi, Gator. Get, you want to see me in a... You know what, Gator? When you come to ride Triteratop Spins with me, well, I'll let you hold the stream and I'll go down the slide. But right here at Dino Bite Snacks, they have a fabulous ice cream sandwich. And it's made with homemade cookies and um, Haagen-Dazs ice cream. And you can get vanilla chocolate or strawberry ice cream. And then you can also choose a sugar cookie or a chocolate chip cookie. And it's amazing. So you can share it, it's huge. Static in my hair. Um, I will show you the restaurant of Soros. The Restaurantosaurus, bless me, excuse me, is here and I will show you what they have. Because they do have a little bit of the menu on the outside here. So cheeseburger, uh, they have impossible burger, chicken nuggets, uh, chicken sandwich, cob salad, and a foot long hot dog. So that gives you a gist of what they have. Like I said, it is a normal uh, quick service here. Nothing too special, but probably will do the job. All right, next time, Gator. There's always next time. Paul, oh, yes, it's a beautiful day here. Thank you for uh, being part of the stream and being part of the chat. One of my other favorite things to get is right over here at Trilo Bites. I'll grab a water, Bex. Thank you for reminding me. But right over here at Trilo Bites, we can grab a water, I'm pretty sure. And they have some really good buffalo chicken nachos other thing i'm going to show you is a great place to sit and watch the flotillas Let's see it's open they might not have cups of water we'll i'll get it at flame tree but this is uh right here the buffalo chicken chips really really good and the golden margarita is even better 
They have a crustaceous cooler, Dole Whip pineapple juice, parrot bay, coconut rum, and melon liqueur. Sounds amazing. I've not ever had the Dole Whip orange and vanilla soft serve, but that's probably delicious too in the summer. But those nachos are some of my favorites. Next Thursday is appointment free. Okay. I was going to switch it up too and maybe do animal on Tuesday or something, but I can keep it under the Thursday schedule. Uh, I do not need a snack, Crystal. I appreciate uh, you asking, but I'm good for today. Uh, no snacks. Um, we're going to keep just walking around and checking out the park and I'm gonna show you because I know the flotilla went by today or just went by on the bridge I'm gonna show you a wonderful place to watch again you can bring your own food into the park Disney lets you bring your own food and drink so you don't have to um, necessarily purchase from any of these places I'm gonna grab a water right here at flame tree and then I'm gonna show you It smells delicious, so. So Flame Tree is barbecue, it's like pulled pork. Hello, uh, can I grab a cup of water please? Yeah. Thank you. Sandra, a burger patty it is. So here, thank you so much. All right, a cup of water, cheers. And then we're gonna go back here. The buffalo chicken nachos, you love them. And um, the pulled pork nachos from here at Flame Tree are one of my favorite. And uh, also the just the pulled pork in general is pretty good but we're gonna follow this path and I can hear the flotilla coming or the pontoon whatever you'd like to call it and there are tables and beautiful views and if you come right over here I think I hope I'm not steering you wrong right by here. Anybody have a barbecue yet? <laughs> yeah, you have a barbecue? Woo! 412, that's impressive. Woohoo! All right! So, all the characters will come by here. So, we'll sit here for just a, a couple minutes and we'll see which Pontoon will come next. Uh, Bex, is, is the gimbal worth it? It's up to you. I mean, let's see, would it, uh, if you film while you're walking around a lot, yeah. I agree. It depends on what you want your videos to look like and your pictures. I see people and I mean just holding it in their hand and and they'll be looking over here and the, and then they'll realize uh, their picture I, I see all kinds of craziness so it's up to you on how great you want your videos to look and um, be but it just depends on what you're using it for and if you want to make a video um, and it's not that hard to hold and be stationary but if you're walking it really does make a difference Sandra B, you're you're so welcome. Okay, so again, you can sit here, have your 
have your lunch however it is whether you ordered from flame tree or you brought your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches into the park look at this lovely shaded area you just come sit here and watch the flotillas go by uh john garland good morning We did, we saw, we saw Santa. So it'll get a little quiet and they should come back to back to back. It is a great view of Everest as well. I agree, Ross. It, it this is just a, there's so much seating back here at Flame Tree. I don't want it to get unnoticed. Um, or go unnoticed and definitely don't want y'all to think that you have to come here and sit in the sun and or just stand and eat take advantage of the seating and take advantage of what they have around here yeah. right here comes the other one so uh timon rafiki and timon So I love that they come right by this area and then they, they go on their way. Ross, um, so this was one of the best views for Kite Tails. So if you don't know, Kite Tails was a very short run, uh, short lived a kite show here in Animal Kingdom. I can remember being here for the first day and a few days um, in between, and then it ended. So you would sit out on the in that stadium seating out there, and it was super hot, and a lot of people did not go to Kite Tails. It was something that people kind of just watched when they were walking by, because again, sitting out in that sun is very hot, and um, this is a beautiful view for kite tails and it would get um, it would get packed in here. Have I seen the new no, maybe I should walk over there, Wayne. What? I have not seen the new um, seating unless I have and I didn't realize it. Oh no, that's where they had it um, like blocked off. Oh, um, it's where we walked by, uh, I'm going to think of it, Crystal. Um, those are the best churros, and they have gluten-free churros there as well. And it starts with a T. So, guys, we're just hanging out. I'm just showing you the flotillas going by, and then we're, we'll head over back over to Africa, and we'll go look at the new seating. That's what it is. Nomad Lounge, not with a T, with an N. All right, Goofy and Pluto are coming our way. That's where it is. Nomad Lounge, uh, sit outside. It's gorgeous. You get to see all these um, pontoons, flotillas go by over there as well. And um, great place to just go and sit and relax, especially in late in the evening or late in the afternoon. I love it. is a special WDNO news report. Here's the Triceratops story. Returning now to the Discovery River Lagoon. Please give a dino-sized cheer for your pals, Goofy and Pluto. Woo! These two brothers set sail. Point is the sail on a quest to share all the dino-rhythmic news about Donald's Dino Guys. Julia, thank you for putting Nomad Lounge in there and and bringing back that memory because I agree you sit outside it's a great place for the flotillas 
also is that bridge right there over by Everest, right there where those people are standing. Um, another great bridge. That's where they come in and go out. Terry P, you're so welcome. It's my pleasure. Um, I do, Bex. Um, my phone lasts, um, during a stream, it lasts around four to five hours. Um, let's see what I'm at now. I'm at 24%, and I've been on the stream since right at 8 a.m. So, it, it'll make it about four hours. Um, and then the gimbal lasts anywhere from like seven to eight hours. Although mine is, mine is blinking now and it should last five hours. I think I'm going to have to get a new one uh, just because I think it's dying on me quicker than it's supposed to be. And it is fully charged. So, um, but yep, all my electronics, they stay charged and I do have an extra um, battery pack and I have two fuel rods that I carry around just in case for backup. Corey, that is exciting. And let me see if Pocahontas is even on our map today. Sometimes she's here and sometimes she's not. So you can't always count on her. And I don't know if there's any great information out there that tells you when and like the times for Pocahontas. Pocahontas is not on the map today. We should have one more pontoon come by. It's crazy that you can hear the yelling from here. Julia, you had a chance of seeing every single character and you absolutely en enjoyed doing the rides. Yeah, Animal Kingdom, it is a such a chill, relaxing park. All right. Her next appearance is at 11.46. All right, thank you, uh, Crystal. Hmm. I don't see her on the map here. Uh, DJ Sting, like what program? Like, so I use Streamlabs for streaming. Um, and I have an Apple iPhone 13, 14, 13 um, for streaming. I should have one more. There's generally four. Um, and the, the last one usually has Doug and Kevin or um, Scrooge McDuck. Or the, but that's not his name. It's the, um, don't, don't tell me. Um, what app am I using? I'm using uh, the Disney, um, the Disney app, Crystal my Disney experience and I'm here on the app here under the characters and Animal Kingdom and she should pop up somewhere in this area and there's nothing there every time I've seen her I see her right in this area and I know it might be hard for you to see but um that's how I usually look Uh, I did not respond. I didn't see that. I apologize, Tanner, but uh, I don't think we're going to make it back to the affection section. Uh, we did do it the last time, so um, I don't think I'm going to have the time to go back there today, but we will definitely make sure it's on the agenda for next time. I think I can hear the last one coming. I think. Or it's somebody else's phone. 
There you go, Leslie. Thank you. I think that's who it is. Uh, so she's not, Pocahontas is on the flotilla. She's not meeting. Okay. Appreciate that, Unicorns. Thank you, thank you. Uh, DJ Singh, you're so welcome. I appreciate the kind words about the stream. All right, I'm, we're, we're gonna get moving, I think. I don't think that uh, there are any more. That's the one thing you don't know. So usually Pocahontas comes by and usually Darkwing Duck comes by. We're gonna get moving but I'm glad I could show you this area Eleven forty-three. so I wonder if she's gonna come okay uh, we I don't know I don't know if I want to leave let's go see if we can catch her on the on the bridge They are coming. I wonder, always wonder what that timing is though. Like, is it 11.43 that they come out? Animal Kingdom is so, so beautiful. No, Millie Muggle Blood. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But again, when I say there's a lot of seating back here, there's a lot of seating. Uh, there are birds. <laughs> Just so you know, birds will come if you have food. But um, other than that, it's, it's really beautiful to be back here. Oh, on the list. Okay, so I got gotcha. you. I'll, I'll show y'all um, what Unicorse is talking about. Hello, Kevin's channel. Solux, hello. Solux, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I, my stomach is going to start growling if I stay at Flame Tree anymore. You can smell the barbecue for sure. So you know what I think I'm gonna do is, so these bridges is how you can see the flotillas as well. But I think what we'll do is we will walk back to Harambe, see the new seating there, and then I will take you on the back path, um, another great area to see the flotillas. That's what we'll do. So Pocahontas is up by the tree at 11.45. So it might be easier to do the list rather than what I'm doing. All right, let me see. So you can see my app here and I do have, let me get out of the way. I do have characters selected, but over here to the right, it says show list. So if you go to the list, it shows you all the characters that are here. And then you can click on Pocahontas. And then it does say 
uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, Discovery Island, and Discovery River Lagoon. So, 11.45. You can go find on the map, and then it'll come up. And so she is on a flotilla, is what that means. But the list is what will show you everything. And then Scrooge McDuck is the other one I was talking about. Kevin goes on the float and Kevin roams around. 12.05 for Kevin. And that might be the easier way for you guys to see the list of characters. And then you can go out of it. And then again, all the little Mickey heads come around. And those are all the characters. Peanut Pup, hello. Hope you and your mom are doing well. Love is all we need. I appreciate that. Thank you. I always say, um, whatever time you get to spend with us uh, is much appreciated. And if you have to go and do something, some things, that's understandable. And um, we appreciate the time that you do give us. All right. So we're going to go back to here to Harambe Market. Uh, Harambe Market is another quick service. And they do have new seating. They were doing construction back here. So we're going to walk back here and check it out. Thank you. Millie Muggle um, Blood. I will be live um, tomorrow on TikTok because it is my two year anniversary on TikTok. And so I do not know what park yet. I'd say more than likely Magic Kingdom. I don't know. It's supposed to be a very rainy day here tomorrow. And so I don't know. So I do stream uh, on many platforms, many as in mainly TikTok and YouTube. And if you follow me on TikTok, um, I'd love to have you over there. We are growing our YouTube channel, so don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere, guys. Um, but tomorrow will be a TikTok day. Uh, do I do meet and greets at the live stream? It's not a weird question. I do meet and greets and yesterday was a meet and greet day. Um, and we did it at Epcot. And we met eight characters yesterday. So yeah, the answer is yes. Um, I do do meet and greets. I do do signatures with the characters so you guys can see. And that is, that is what we did yesterday. This is the new seating and it's wonderful. And I want to go catch these performers. I've never caught them before. All right, hold on.
time. So we need everybody on the stage. Here, everybody, everybody, mommy, and daddy, and grandpa. Everybody. What about here? <laughs> I don't know, you guys. We'll see. What are we gonna do? The, uh, Tanya, this is this what Tanya was doing? All right, we're going. We're going. Excuse me. Oh gosh. Get on the mark. Get on the mark. All right. All right, guys. We have a question for you. Are you guys ready to dance? Yes. yes. Oh, I cannot hear you. Are you ready to dance? Yes. yes. All right. So when they say arambe, you say acrobatic. Arambe. Acrobatics. Arambe. Acrobatics. All right. Everyone, put your hands together. Oh. Bring your knees down. And before you start, please get comfortable. <laughs> something a little different that is it and this is the new seating and I love it kawaii good to see you here good to have you in the chat so this is the new seating and the flotillas are going by so I'm gonna head down and go show you the other walkway that you can go and see the flotillas from. The, the grill is not back. I don't think that the corn is there, but the grill is not. Tamu, Tamu. Uh, last time I was here with Megan, we had the pineapple crisp sundae um, when we were on the stream too, and it is delicious. If you like any dole wood, Tamu Tamu is the place for you to come and get that. All 
right, so we're gonna go on a little walk down here. Uh, we've already been over here in this area, but but we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you um, the backside, <laughs> the backside of the uh, the river here. Gail Gatling, good morning. Welcome into the chat. Hello, Debbie. Deborah. Debbie, good to have you here. All right, so we saw the Festival of the Lion King um, around 10 o'clock a couple hours ago. Wow. Oh, what have we done for two hours? If you come over here and you walk past the Festival of the Lion King, there is a path. You can go on that path and it takes you just on a, in a different direction. It does kind of take you away from the crowds. Kawhi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, as long as you're on this waterway, uh, you can see the flotillas, and uh, any you can stop and wave and say hello. But. I don't think any place is really necessarily a bad place, but there are better places to watch from. Good to see you here in the chat. All right, so right here under this bridge, hopefully we don't lag. This is a wonderful, wonderful bit, wonderful place to watch the flotillas go by and uh you're really close and uh you you get to see them right way close <laughs> up close and personal and it's in the shade I know somebody had asked earlier if Divine was out. Divine comes out. She is on the My Disney Experience app as well. Um, and you can look her up. And um, she usually comes out once an hour. Starting from 9 to 2 is the last time I had talked to a character attendant. And um, she comes out at the, the, t uh, the bottom of the hour. The last 20 minutes of the hour is when she comes out. I'm trying to show you the views of Nomad Lounge. So again, we just came from over there and um, Nomad Lounge is right over here and you sit out there around the corner 
and you can sit and watch uh, the flotillas go by. I love this pathway. It just kind of takes you away um, and takes you away from the crowds and gives you a breather from what's happening there in the park. You can see the top of the Tree of Life. But where this pathway will take you to is back into, um, it'll take you back into Avatar, the Pandora area, as you'll hear the, the bugs. And you'll hear the, the noises change. And I'm going to show you how we're, we're going to go back around and we'll come back out to um, the Avatar area and then back out to being almost at the front of the park. Kayla, you know what? You, this is the one thing. If you learn something and even it's, if it's not on your agenda, at least you know about it for next time and you can make those adjustments. And Solox, I'm so glad like I showed you something that you had never seen before. Lamont, hello. Capstone. Um Capstone, that's a, that's funny. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not gonna offend anybody with the the one the the one finger pointing. So I'll tell you why I started the two point, the two finger. I just felt that if I ever was pointing at something with a cast member, I felt like I was offending them, and it, and, it, and it's my feeling, not theirs. And I was just like, oh, I don't want to be disrespectful. I know what they're supposed to be doing. And um, so that is, I just adopted it and I, I find myself at Costco pointing with two fingers. <laughs> so. All you do is look at animals. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey. Tracy, oh, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Water does come out of that. That cast member just turned it on for those girls. That was so nice of him. So again, here we are. We're at the bridge. Another bridge where you can see the flotillas go by and a better look at the Nomad Lounge and where you could sit. And I'll show you where we just were. So, we came from right over there on the edge over there. You can barely see it, but then this is the outdoor seating for the Nomad Lounge. Super comfy, super cozy, in the shade, and if you love churros. Yeah. Oh, wait. Stone Dragon. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. What's your name? Ace from, where are you from? Pasco, Washington. Thank yeah. you so much. Cool little thing. I see that. Thank you. Thank you. You know how many times you come and I would just say, you, there's so much you don't know oh or don't God. see. This place is full of surprises. Yes. Thank so. you, Ace. Go wild. Bye. Have fun. Bye. That was so kind of him to show me. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ace. Pasco, Washington. I have to remember that. He deserves a cast compliment and he's a VIP tour um, guy and he like gave me a little tidbit. Under here, there's a stone dragon. I'm going to zoom in.
Oh my gosh. All right, let me get a different angle. Let me see if I can see it a little bit better. Look at him up under there. Banana, goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful day. Ace. All right, Ace Pasco, Washington. I got that. Now you know, there's a drive, and I mean, I see, let me see. Can you see all the way up in there? And then like, it's the back, the, the back of the dragon right in there. All right. Thank you, thank you, Ace. All right, so Nomad Lounge here. That's the outside lounge area. Tiffin's is the indoor um, restaurant. I have not ever eaten at Tiffin's, only Nomad Lounge, and I think that Tiffin's is a pretty highly sought after uh, restaurant. Jeff. We rode Triceratops spins. I can't even say it anymore. I cried. I cried. I was like, I'm going to miss you. No, but really, we didn't. But we did ride Dinosaur. We saw the new seating at Harambe. We danced with the dancers. Uh, what else have we done, you guys? We have seen Festival of the Lion King. And um, now we just found a dragon in the woods. Tasha, hello, hello. Daniel, we did, we were over by Everest and uh, we did take a look at Everest. I didn't ride Everest today. And we didn't do the safari. Those are the two, two big things that we didn't do. But we did some other big things too. Like we went on Flight of Passage and Navi and Triceratops Spins. Ooh, the otters. Good call. Good call, Solux. All right. The flamingos are really cute too. Jerry G, you're so welcome. My pleasure to be able to uh, show you guys around and make you a little bit co more comfortable with coming to Animal Kingdom. All right, so right outside this door are the otters and the flamingos. And if you come here at the right time, um, bubbles, <laughs> uh, the flamingos, sometimes they're sitting on eggs. Always fun to watch. The cast members down here are a lot of fun. And I do want to point out just because we can, if you are trying to become a wilderness explorer, um, I will show you at the front of the park where to get the book. And this will indicate that this is a wilderness explorer spot for the flamingo and that you can come down here and talk to the cast member that is dressed like a wilderness explorer and she will give you your sticker. So no nest. So usually if a flamingo it has eggs, they it's up in there. Corey, we'll get to the we do the flam we do the safari all the time. So, 
We do the safari all the time, so we will get to it again. So those are the flamingos. All right, sorry for the lag back there. The auto grotto, the auto grotto, the otter grotto. Let's see if we can go down here without lagging. More beautiful, beautiful plants. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Let's get y'all back. Oh no. I was gonna say it looks like a really weird thing. You can't believe how much you've missed Tasha. Here's your very first park day and super overwhelmed. And I wonder, did they just get out of there? Um, the cold weather and I hope that the stream has brought a little bit of warmth and sunshine to you guys. It's Doug. That's such a cute lounge fly. I probably need him. <laughs> oh, he's 88 and super, super cute. We're gonna go through this other shop and hopefully we will get to about the time where uh, Divine would come out. The park opened at 8 a.m. this morning and uh, we got so much accomplished. appreciate everybody being in here in the stream today and this morning and however you're watching uh, it doesn't go unnoticed back over here by flame tree and I smell it <laughs> I carry around these like little peanut butter and jelly things not the Uncrustables this is uh, the Bobo's if you've ever heard that brand and it's like oh it's like an oat cookie and it has peanut butter and it has grape jelly or strawberry jelly. That's usually what I carry around and I'll eat. And I ate that and it did not hold me over today. 
Richard, hello from Massachusetts. Oh my goodness, they got the ear the ears to match. Can you try those blue planet ones on? Oh, the beautiful ears are here. <laughs> All the playing in the boneyard, you're right. Good thing I didn't go on the slide. Oh, this is this is the spirit jersey I wanted that Tanya had. I finally am seeing it and it goes with the blue collection. Okay, so this was the this spirit jersey. Let me show you what it looks like on the back side. It's so I love the hibiscus. And so then that's the blue bag with the blue ears. Oh, I think I do love it. I think I do. Well, y'all have to wait and see if I eventually get it or not. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm glad that I finally saw it. Spring break shirts, I do not need that. I like this Mickey golf shirt. Crystal, yep, thank you for asking her, and I'm so glad that I kept just looking and looking for it. You love the shopping, Stephen. Oh, thank you. This is a cute shirt as well. Mickey and Goofy. I wonder if there's anything on the back. What's on the back? I don't know when we're gonna feel that we can't, hopefully by the end of March. We've given it a solid quarter for everybody to get the 2024 merch and hopefully that will head over to the character warehouse. No, oh, what, Wayne, Wayne, what? Breaking news, breaking news. That's our song. Breaking news, breaking news. Da, 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 da. Breaking news, breaking news. What? A drone show for, what? Okay. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, thank you. Great. Breaking Epcot news on Disney Food Blog. Opening date for Communicore Hall and the Plaza um, have an official date uh, for when all the walls will be down. Communicore Hall and the Plaza, along with Inspiration Gardens, will be open June 10th. Wow, look at all the news. Okay, I know that wasn't it. That was more breaking news. Breaking news, breaking news. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for it, Wayne. I, I'm excited too, Wayne. Okay. All it keeps showing me is Megan's. Um, I'm going to go to the Disney blog. All right, sorry that we got a, went a little off the rails for the shopping. Hi, Emma. All right. Disney World blog. All right, we're gonna go to the Disney Parks blog and we're just gonna go straight to the source. All 
Anyway, I, now I'm, 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 okay. Summer vacation starts here. Four new experiences to, su to celebrate. More Star Wars offerings, okay. Summer vacation. Dine with friends. All right. I'm clicking it. I'm clicking it. We're going to come over here in the shade and we're going to... I'm on Wi-Fi. Maybe that's the problem. Dreams that soar at Disney Springs. Drones take to the skies above Lake Buena Vista with Disney Dreams that Soar, a summertime experience that will be a late night park for, perk for visitors. You can fly, takes on a whole new meaning as we showcase Disney stories celebrating the joy of flight with the state of the art drones choreographed to celebrate designs in the skies and paired with the soaring musical score. See what I did there? Oh, see what I did there? Um, <laughs> Uh, and a memorable and memorable movie quotes after spending the day delighted in shopping discovering fun activities savoring uh, diverse flavors of Disney Springs turn your eyes to the skies above the west side with the show amongst the stars Disney dreams that soar will run nightly from May 24th to September 2nd Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what are other things? Because it says four new experiences. Um, over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, get into your feels with Joy. So Joy is moving over to Pixar. So she, oh, Joy's going to move over to the Pixar place. Epcot. What's happening at Epcot? Okay, so maybe that's our Communicore Hall. And for a limited time, everyone will be talking about Bruno June 10th through 6th because a new summer sing-along featuring the beloved songs and the stories of Encanto is, develop is in development now. Wow. Okay. So Epcot, that's in June, June 10th. And then that's our whole, right there, celebration of Disney's Animal Kingdom, which we talked about earlier on the stream, the 30th anniversary for the Lion King. And we're going to have special meet and greets right there, Rafiki and Timon. Wow. Thank you, Wayne. Wow. Okay, let me show you. Um, I don't. I don't even know what to take. That is so exciting. Nor not your normal Gary. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay, I wanted to show you. Um, this is where you can come and get your prize for the Wilderness Explorer. And this is where you become an official Wilderness Explorer. Can I get a booklet? Yeah, thank you. Are you familiar with our program? Um, yeah, I mean, you want to explain it? Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> So this is our education program. Okay. Um, so as you go around the park, you can learn about animals and things in nature and collect sticker badges. Um, so these are all throughout the park. You can do as many or as few as you would like. Um, and then we're out until 6.30 tonight. 6.30, yeah. okay. So you look for anyone that has the orange bag um, throughout the park, and those are the people that you okay. can get the sticker badges. So, okay. So, Thank you. you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Have a good one. Okay, so we have our book, and this is right when you walk in, but you can get this book anywhere from a wilderness explorer um, in the area. Um, if you see one of those signs, you can get one of these books, and you get the badge when you're there. So, I've always wanted to become a wilderness explorer, and now I have the book, so maybe next time we'll do it. I'm going to walk over here and see if Pocahontas is possibly out in her nook. And even if she isn't out in her nook, I will show you this is normally where she meets. 
and then Matthew, I agree. Iger is he he is done with people um, bashing and talking trash, and uh, it, it's hopefully um, it's you know coming all the new things, and which is super exciting. Um, let me pull over. So if Pocahontas is out and doing a meet and greet, like the traditional meet and greet and not on the flotilla, it is generally in this area. We are not wilderness explorers because we did not um, go around to get the badges. We have the book, but not the badges. thanks for having me on I appreciate it and hello kids thank you for being um, here in Animal Kingdom with me and hopefully you're being very nice to Miss Emma today fourth grade in the house all right I am want to just hang out here for just a second. If Miss Divine is coming out, it will be right here. It's a possibility that she did come out already today. Uh, Emma said, they say hi. Hi, guys. But Miss Divine is a uh, character that comes out and she's all green and she hides in the foliage. And uh, love to see her come out today. But again, she might have already come out. Hi. Theme Parks Assemble, hello. Sylvia, hello from Italy. We'll walk around the path right here while we're waiting. See if she comes out. <laughs> Theme Parks Assemble, it has been a wonderful a wonderful day here not too bad some Disney ducks I'll take you through and I'll show you the path in the middle here uh, Matthew I got on dinosaur I got on it I I did dinosaur we did triceratops spins Triceratops, I'm, I'm going to say it right. Triceratops spins. So a regular duck trying to get in with the other duck. He's like on the outside looking in. Like, hey guys, how do I get over there? And then right over here, you walk over to this bridge. It's a fun little bridge, fun little passageway. And you can jump around on it. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, Tanner, I am almost done for the day. Unfortunately, we're headed out to the front of the park. So again, we'll have to put it, put it on, uh, we'll have to put it on the schedule for next time. Rafiki's Planet Watch, Feathered Friends in Flight. All right, we're gonna make our way back around and if she's not out now, I don't, we might've missed her. Uh, Daniel, thank you so much. Yes, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. We are out here on a mission to grow this channel and have more friends join us um, and enjoy Disney and theme parks with us. So please uh, like and share and subscribe for sure. So again, Divine comes out on the left side of the park. And it's not looking like she's going to be here. Like I said, we might have already missed her. She might have uh, lunch. <laughs> she's out there getting her leaves together. John, yeah, that duck is, that duck is a guest. So we'll try again next time. When I walked in this morning, again, I'm into showing y'all the beauty of the parks and what is blooming. And I've, I've said for the past uh, week, if you're coming and you have allergies, it's definitely spring here. And um, can y'all see the, I think it's a wisteria tree. I would think that's wisteria but it's so beautiful and purple and I noticed it this morning when I came in and it's just gorgeous and I would assume that they're trying to grow the vine all across this trellis and they have another one over here and over here and it, it's beautiful I think it's 20 minutes, Tasha, 20 minutes to the hour, but it is like the lunchtime. So I know there's a during, there, like Neil, he gets one hour. So I think it might be Divine's lunchtime. Goodbye, thank you. Take y'all out here to the front of the park. Peanut Pup, you're so welcome. I'm gonna take you out here and I will show y'all. Um, there is a Rainforest Cafe here. Um, just like in Disney Springs, uh, you can go to the cafe and it is right here. And there's an entrance here. You can go to the cafe and then you can enter to the park through the Rainforest Cafe. Uh, photo opportunities out in front with the Animal Kingdom sign, restrooms, and then also customer guest relations and ticket purchases. Thank you everybody for another wonderful morning. I'm gonna go home with my wilderness explorer. We're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna become wilderness explorers, I tell you. Thank you to all the mods for all of your.